Hi, this is Josh from Wicked Handyman. Um, if you've been paying attention, I don't know if you're following along, let's say, with our channel, you'll notice that there's just a video posted about a uh, rocket car that happened to be from Matt. Um, in the video, he mentioned that um, one of his friends had a rocket car very similar. Well, this is it. Um, just like his, um, it's very lightweight. Um, it is made from RC car parts, just like his. Um, mine is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit more archaic a little bit because I do have some parts that are glued on unlike his which is all held on with uh, hardware you could there's not really an argument which is better I mean the difference is uh, like my axles they are bolted on with little um, associated uh, RC car screws but there's also zip ties and this glue holding on as well um, you can make an argument that technically he could take his uh, completely apart change it put it back together whereas mine if you want to do that it's still possible, but it would take a little bit of work because you'd have to undo all the glue and whatnot. Which, there really isn't much glue because, I mean, this is still held on with hardware and this is still on hardware. It's just the axles and this engine mount is glued in place. Um, uh, it's pretty much a similar design. This is also another RC car body. Um, all of my parts, by the way, is, well, the, with the exception of this part and this part, are all from a Mini T. Whereas his was based off an RC18 uh uh, chassis. That's where he got his body from. That's where uh, most of his parts come from. The exceptions with this part and this part, which are carbon fiber, um, those are from a Duratrax vehicle. I don't know which one. I was just looking, a lot, uh, looking around online for uh, carbon fiber pieces because I wanted to obviously make the chassis longer than the Mini T is stock. And that's what I found is just Duratrax parts. Um, the body is similar, it's cut down a lot. Mine is still more intact than his is. But you get the idea, this is actually a hole I made to mount a um, an onboard camera. I haven't actually tried to see how the onboard camera works, but that's what this hole is for. Um, what else? Um, I do not run in front air dam. When I originally made this thing, I did actually have a front air dam on it. But the thing I found with my front air dam, for whatever reason, is it would get hooked on stuff. And it just ended up breaking off, so I just said, you know what? I'm just not going to run a front air dam. I mean, he makes the argument that it holds the front of his car down. That's negligible, in my opinion. Um, I have never noticed that problem. Although, I suppose, as he, he cites a uh, one of the runs we were doing in the last race we had, mine lifts up in the front. I have to see the footage to to argue that, I, or not argue, but uh, I want to see the foot video footage of that actually happening. <clears throat> um, what else? It does have a an engine compartment. It has a passenger compartment. The back is mine is technically still mostly all there. Um, as you can see, mine is much dirtier. That's because I don't run uh, parachuteless charges or engines. <sighs> technically. It is actually probably better to run the parachute list charge or the engines that are that don't have the parachute charge, just because it keeps everything cleaner. Um, with mine, I I don't bother trying to search around for the parachute uh, or the engines that don't have the parachute charge. I just will go and find whatever I can from the A uh, the A10 uh, rockets. The reason is simple: is it's because they're easier to find. He always tends to have trouble finding the engines without the parachute charge. So I just don't even bother looking. I just go and buy the uh, regular engines. Some of these are fact that they're easy to find. Pretty much any craft store, hobby store, wherever. But that's basically my design. Um, what I, the reason I have it out today is because I want to clean it, of course, because it's kind of dirty. And I need to do some maintenance. It rolls nice. Um, but I also need to install steering like in, on his. In the past, um, where we had run was more downhill and it wasn't ever a problem for me to have the car go, or it never was a problem um, not having steering because the car would always go nice and straight. Straighter than his actually. But this past time is that uh, we ran in more of an uphill uh, direction and it actually was a problem for me to not have steering because I ran into an issue where my car would always go I believe it was to the left 
And while he had the ability to adjust on the fly, you know, to compensate for that, I did not. And that sort of created an issue for me. So, I have decided to install steering. Now, obviously these are off of Russell, they're way too big. This is off of my Mini-T that I have been scavenging parts off of here or there when I need them. I'm just probably going to remove these two screws here and just install this here so I can install or move the uh, front axle a little bit that way, a little bit that way, depending on if I need to go more right, go more left, depending on the conditions. Uh, what else? Um, other than that, it's pretty, I mean, we're pretty much, you know, running the same class of car. Um. Something I forgot to mention, actually. Well, his rocket tube is he made it out of aluminum, which works pretty good. This is a crazy glue tube. So if you're ever planning on making a rocket car or want to do anything with rockets that are going to require A10, um, A10 sized rockets, save those crazy glue tubes if you have any. They're expensive to buy if you want to just use it for the tube, but if you have crazy glue and have used it and you have the old tube hanging around, save them. An A10 rocket fits perfectly into the crazy glue tube. Here it is all said and done. I got a nice steering setup now. It's pretty simple. Just a turn buckle there. Um, all I did is just remove the two screws there in front. Um, I shaved down the chassis a little bit to give it a little bit more room and uh, save a little bit of weight, I guess. There used to be pieces that were uh, that went right there like that. Um, on this side, I also shaved a little bit more away so I could access the turnbuckle with pliers with the body on. But that said, quick, probably, I don't know, didn't really take long, maybe a half hour altogether. And I only have adjustable steering in the front. I also did some other maintenance, obviously I cleaned it up. Um, <clears throat> if you're doing this or you're working on something like this and you want to get the uh, residue off, like, you know, if you remember what that looked like, it's pretty much perfectly clean now. But if you're working on, you know, rockets, rocket cars, whatever you're doing, and you want to remove the residue, all it is just um, fantastic, spray it on, let it sit for a minute, pretty much wipe it off. And then it just comes out nice and clean like that. Then I went ahead and just re looped up all my wheels and whatnot. Just like Matt's as well, I run metal in the front, and unlike his, though, I run uh, rubber wheels in the back. These are off a bigger slot car, but the idea is here so there's less like resistance in the front, so it's less likely to grab and steer somewhere. It's just it'll push forwards more, as opposed to the rear, which you know. You get you see what's happening here. The front will slide, but the rear will stay planted. But that's that. Here's what it looks like with the body on. It's pretty mean looking. I mean, all the wheels are pretty slammed to each corner of the vehicle. It sits real low, why not? And it rolls nice and smooth. And then just to see, I can now change the steering. Really easy, just by flipping over and grabbing that turnbuckle with the pliers. Got any questions? You need any advice? Whatever. You like what you like what you see? If you give us a like, leave a comment down below. Oh, that was pretty damn good. I think yours came apart a little bit. Huh? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck yeah. That was good. That was a good I run right there. It. Another incredible run. Perfect. Another good one. Oh, that was a fucking good. We good? We good? Good. Oh.